The Gentleman was written and directed by Guy Ritchie and stars Matthew McConaughey, Charlie Hunnam, Michelle Dockery, Colin Farrell, and Hugh Grant. Now this movie came out in theaters in January and I originally planned on seeing it around that point, but I didn't get a chance to see it in theaters, so similar to Bad Boys for Life, I figure since the Blu-ray is already out and I picked it up, I might as well review it now. It's a good time to review it now. And I figure that's a good time for me to review 2020 movies that I wanted to see but didn't get a chance to see. So expect a review like that for Call of the Wild and Birds of Prey and more coming soon. So with that being said, let's talk about The Gentleman. Now I am a fan of Guy Ritchie. I really like him as a director. I think he's a very unique and talented director. I've liked a lot of his movies. I haven't seen all of his movies, but I really enjoyed the Sherlock Holmes movies. I really enjoyed The Man From U.N.C.L.E. And I even really enjoyed uh, 2017's King Arthur Legend of the Sword. Yeah, critics hated that one, but I thought it was really entertaining. However, I didn't like Aladdin but I don't really blame him for that movie being not so good. I mainly blame Disney for not letting him take any risks for that movie. So with this movie, The Gentleman, I was excited because he's not strained down by anything or anyone. You know, he can make this movie the way he wants to make it. It's his movie and that really got me excited. However, I only watched one of the trailers and I really didn't even pay that much attention to it because I didn't want to know what the movie was going to be about. I wanted to go in it completely blind. And when I saw the reviews coming up, the reviews were mainly like, it was a decent movie. So I kind of lowered my expectations a little bit because I didn't want to overhype myself in case I ended up not liking it. But I'm glad I bought the Blu-ray and I'm glad I watched it because this movie was so damn good. A lot better, in my opinion, than what a lot of the critics are saying about it. And I'm not gonna give away the plot of the movie. The only thing I'll say about it is it's a crime gangster comedy movie. And it's a very damn good one. And I didn't know it was that going into the movie. And it really worked with a lot of aspects of the movie. Let's start with the performances. Everyone is great. There's a huge cast in this movie and no one gives a bad performance. Everyone is at top notch here. My favorite character would probably be a tie between Charlie Hunnam and Colin Farrell's character. Charlie Hunnam was so cool in this movie and every time I see him I like him more and more as an actor. He was very cool, very laid back. Like he knew what his character knew what he does and he owns up to it, but he wasn't very cocky, if that makes any sense, without giving stuff away. And Colin Farrell was really funny in the movie. If you would, if you would describe his character to me before I saw the movie, I would say to myself, no, I don't really, really see Colin Farrell playing that type of character, but it really worked and it's a tie between those two. You know, Colin Farrell was really funny, but Charlie Hunnam was so cool. And of course, Matthew McConaughey was really cool. Hugh Grant was excellent in the movie. And it, just everyone is. This is a very great cast that um, Guy Ritchie brought together and it really paid off. So like I said in the beginning, Guy Ritchie, I think, is a very unique director. He has a very unique style with how he directs his movies, and I think his directing style really helps this story out. It helps out all of his movies, but really in this one, it does help out the story a lot. It also takes time, if you're not familiar with, with his directing style, to get used to it. But once you do get used to his directing style, the movie is an entire ride, and you look back on it, as a really fun yet well-made movie and it does it does get easy to get used to his directing style very fast and he does not hold back on some of the language and some of the gunfights and some of the violence in this movies i love seeing a director who knows what he's doing who has locked down his script got everything in place and is just let loose to let him or her create the movie that they want to create. It makes for some really great entertaining moments and a lot of great questionable moments. Like, there's some offensive stuff that is said in this movie. If you're like really easily offended with some of the stuff that they say in this movie or some of the stuff that they do in this movie, then this movie's not gonna be for you. But if you don't care, then you're gonna find that stuff entertaining and kind of funny. If I had to pinpoint a negative with this movie, it's that some stuff that's said and done in like the first two acts, it doesn't always come off the right way. 
Uh, I'm trying to say it without spoiling it. it. A lot of it comes off as you're not sure what's going on or you're not sure what they're saying or doing. But with that being said, when the ending happens, it does tie everything together. And then you're able to look back on those stuff that ha that stuff that happens and say, okay, I understand everything now. It, this movie at times requires you to really pay attention at all the little beats that you're either not sure about or you just don't like. You know, it requires you to pay attention to that stuff because when the ending happens, it does tie everything together. I thought pretty nicely. So yeah, I was really surprised by The Gentleman. I thought I was gonna just like the movie, but I didn't think I was gonna love it as much as I did. It's very entertaining, very likable. It has a great cast. The movie looks great, and yeah, I would definitely recommend this movie. And I would say it's a most definite Blu-ray purchase. The movie's out on Blu-ray now. If you haven't seen it, then I would recommend picking up the Blu-ray. It's definitely worth your time. So like always, if you've seen The Gentleman, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section, as well as your favorite Guy Ritchie movie. I'm not sure I have a favorite yet. A lot of his movies are... I feel the same way about a lot of them. I don't love them, but I do really, really enjoy them. But if you have a favorite, let me know all that in the comments section. Thank you as always again for watching. I really do appreciate it, guys. Look forward to more reviews and more videos soon. I'm slowly trying to plan out more videos. So just be patient with me and look out for those soon. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, click right here. And I'll see you guys next time.